So, Kevin, tell me more about the role of IT in an organization and how does that fit with cyber? Because right now, the way I see organizations and their creation, IT owns the world and delegates small entities to the cyber team. Is that what you think should be happening today? No, not at all. Albert, after looking at different things, looking at security incident event management, looking at thoroughly auditing IT networks, I think IT administrators should unbox the equipment, put them in a rack, power them on, and tag or hand off the configuration and the testing and evaluation to a cybersecurity professional. Now, are you speaking like this because you've only worked in cyber or did you start off in IT? So Albert, I, um, I'm not going to divulge my age, but um, <laughs> I didn't ask when that I question. Came com- when I came into computers, um, Windows 311 was around and Windows NT was around. And I've worked one man deep positions. I've worked as a system administrator, I've worked as a system engineer. And the more that I that I think about it, for the modern threats in the cyber world right now, yeah, the IT administrator is ill-equipped to be able to proactively defend against the modern threats right now. Right. I, I'd have to agree with you. And in fact, I was just on a podcast, and I think you saw it, uh, the Cyber Chomps podcast. Yes. Where, where Alan, Maggie, and myself were interviewed by Josh or Justin. Um, we're all authors in Hashtag Hack 2. Oh, you are too. Yes. Anyway, <laughs> so Alan brought up the point that, you know, today, IT thinks that it owns the environment and it delegates small portions to the cyber teams. But in reality, we need to switch this around where cyber owns the domain and delegates activities to the IT team. That's right. Yes, absolutely. Because just as we discussed earlier, there is a, a difference So right now, our problems can be characterized as technology, people, and doctrine. And right now, there needs to be an understanding, a conversation about protecting a network or just, you know, using security, incident, event management to be able to get a situational awareness or network visibility on the network. Well, you know, Um, those are all great tools, but they're only as good as the people that can configure them. Exactly. And a lot of the times they're, they're implemented and they're only partially configured. And that's why it's taking months, if not years to find out that, Hey, you've already been breached or, Hashtag hat. Yes, yes, absolutely. And I think, you know, it's very cliche, but I think about the commercial um, that many of us have seen. And it's about a guard in a bank. And he says, excuse me, you're being robbed. And the response of the individual is, well, do something about it. And his response is, I'm sorry, my job is just monitoring. 
kind of kind of self defeating, isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, that's why I built it safe. It saves the security appliance that sits in the network and it protects the network from these threats and attacks. Isn't that yes. what we need instead of something that correlates log events? Absolutely. Um, I think. So, Albert, tell me all about it's safe. Tell me how it's safe is different than all these other security appliances on the network and tell me the the differentiating factor on how it's safe protects the the customer from the attacker sure so first of all we detect protect and respond at machine speed your seam will only report if it's configured to accept the logging information. As a device that sits in line to all the network traffic, we're able to review the functional traffic going in and out of the network. So when we see malicious activity, we can block it from reaching its destination whether it's outbound, like a denial of service attack, or I need an update for malware that's inside the network, we block it. Now the update can't be performed. As a matter of fact, the malware becomes ineffective. So that's almost self-healing the network at machine speed. We don't, we don't really have to wait for IT to get involved in fixing the problem because we fixed it by blocking the bad activities. Does that make sense? That, sound, that does. It sounds great, Albert. Well, is there anything else that uh, you want to talk about? Oh, I'm sure we're going to be talking for quite a while, Kevin, but Maybe today we'll just keep this a short conversation. That sounds great. Thanks for your time. Thank you.